Hey everybody, Ashton here with Ten Cents, and I have been tagged in a Q&A video by Manny from Cascade Scents and Pep from The Sentinel. So I want to thank you guys. If you haven't checked their channels out, please do so. I will leave a link to both channels in the description. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So I've got 11 questions to run through here. I'll also leave those questions in the description. And at the end of the video, I will tag another fragrance reviewer so that they can do this as well. Question one, how many fragrances do you own? So I went through today, counted everything. I'm assuming that I forgot one here or there. There's just a lot to go through. Um, I've estimated before on some live streams that I had around 500 bottles. Turns out I was way, way off. And keep in mind, I do a lot of selling and swapping and decanting. So I don't just buy these and let them sit and go into crazy debt. But the number is 903. So, a lot. Question two, how do you store and organize your fragrances? So you can see behind me, I have a couple cabinets here. These are my smaller ones. Uh, I've got another one there, another one there, and one in the next room over. So I've got a, a pretty good amount of storage space, but to be honest, I'm probably going to be ordering a couple more. Not this type. These ones are a little small, a little cheap, so I probably won't be buying this kind again. Um, more a, a large bookcase at this point is what I've been buying when I buy new ones, so that's probably what I'll go for. Um, I keep them in this room, which is my designated fragrance room, not a whole lot of outside light or anything can get in um, so it stays cool it stays uh, stays dark unless I'm in here shooting or you know doing some decanting or something and uh, the one that I have in the next room over is pretty much the same as as here it stays dark it stays cool uh, that's really the only thing that I care about um, I would go the whole wine cooler route and keep fragrances you know in a, a wine cooler but I just have so many of them that I don't even know that that's feasible. Three, what was your first fragrance? It was uh, Brute by Fabergé. My uncle got it for me for, uh, I think it was a Christmas present or birthday present, one or the other. But I was in, I was in like third grade, maybe something like that. That was the very first one I got. First one that my mom bought for me was Dracar Noir, which was like a year or two after that. But Brute was the first one. Question four, what is your newest fragrance? Uh, the most recent one, uh, or at least the one that I'm gonna be singling out, is Tumulte by Christian Lacroix. So uh, my friend Neo, he located this for me and uh, sent it on my way from Canada. So I was super pumped to get this in. Um, I had a 50 ml bottle, but it was like almost empty, almost completely gone. And this is a, a completely full 100 ml bottle. It's getting really hard to find. So I was super psyched to get this. Um, he also sent along Escada Por Homme, a 75 ml bottle, a 75 ml bottle of Azaro Pure Lavender, and then also uh, a 100 ml bottle of Very Valentino. So that was awesome to get four discontinued fragrances because I love discontinued fragrances. If any of you out there can locate discontinued fragrances for me, please get in touch with me. Uh, email address is in the description. Question number five, what is your most expensive fragrance? So this is an overpriced fragrance, very overpriced. So just be aware that I'm aware that this is overpriced, but it is a uh, Clive Christian number one for men. So this retails for $865 US. That means it costs $17.30 per milliliter. So it's very, very expensive. Do I think it's worth it at retail? Hell no. No, 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 not close. Like a lot of people say that Creed is overpriced at retail, and it is, but Creed seems like bargain basement pricing uh, when compared to this. Number six, what was my most dramatic fragrance buying experience? It was probably the time that I went into the uh, Sephora inside of JCPenney locally, looking for a bottle of one million 
and then J.C. Penney was held up by three masked gunmen wielding M16s and AK-47s. And I had to single-handedly fight them off with nothing uh, but the bottle cap from La Nuita Loam. That never happened. No, no, that didn't happen. Um, I don't think anything dramatic has happened when I've been buying fragrances. I used to wake up really early every day, uh, well, 6 a.m., it's kind of early, and go onto eBay and there was a seller that would, um, like clockwork, every day would dump like between 40 and 100 listings of almost full bottles at ridiculous prices. I'm talking super ridiculous. So it would be like 40 bucks for a 100 ml bottle of bond number nine, you know, like $90 for a, a full bottle of Aventus, a four ounce bottle, crazy prices like that. And I would go on there and as soon as those listings hit, it was like Mad Max. Like everybody that was aware of it would just start buying everything. So you'd just be like clicking through stuff on eBay. And I wouldn't even add it to my cart um, because if you added something to your cart and then looked at another listing and tried to add that to your cart, the first thing that you added was already gone. So I would just go through and go buy it now, buy it now, buy it now on everything that I could find that was a, a good deal. And um, it was just complete insanity. And then when the mailman would show up with the stuff that I ordered from each day, there were times that there were 30 boxes on my porch and I'm sure that they hated me. Number seven, what is your current favorite fragrance store? Or my favorite fragrance store, not yours. Um, I guess the Barney's at Chicago is the best one that I've physically been into because the times that I've been to New York in the past, I didn't actually get to go into any fragrance stores because my wife wasn't really into it at the time and we were up there doing other things. So I just kind of bypassed it. Next time I go to Chicago, I'll be going to one though. Um, if we're talking online, I don't know. There are a lot of places I shop online. FragranceNet and Otino are the most popular for me as far as like discounters for designers go. Uh, designer fragrances in some niche. And then as far as buying just niche bottles straight up new, um, Euro Perfumes, um, Ascent and Nobile if I'm going through Europe, um, Parfumeria, stuff like that. Number eight. What is my current favorite fragrance? That changes day to day. So, I don't know. Sometimes it's Green Irish Tweed. I love that fragrance, I have for years. Um, if I had to pick one, I guess I would say Gucci Envy. It's been discontinued for a while. It's kind of expensive if you try to look for it on eBay, but I love that one. Nine, what is my least favorite fragrance? This is a cop-out. It's a complete cop-out. Everybody knows what's coming right there in my cabinet. You can't really see it, but I'm pointing to it. Secretions Magnifique, because there is an absolute 0% chance that I could ever, ever, ever wear that. Even other fragrances that I might not really like, it's, you know, kind of like, oh, I could think of a, a situation to wear that in, but I would never, ever wear that willingly. Question 10, what is my next fragrance purchase? That is, uh, Sicily by Mansera. I actually placed the order yesterday. So that will be coming in from Europe hopefully pretty soon and then I'll be able to check it out. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a Mansera fan. I did a video with my wife not that long ago where she rated five Mansera fragrances. I guess I'll leave a link for that in the description too. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Mr. Oz did a review on that fragrance. I'll also leave that in the description. So if you're interested, check that out. And lastly, what is my dream fragrance? I'm constantly looking for new things and searching stuff out, obviously. So I feel like I would run upon my, my dream fragrance and then suddenly it wouldn't be my dream fragrance anymore and I'd want something else that's new and different. Uh, maybe they could re-release Gucci Envy for me. That'd be kind of cool. Um, maybe a super juicy, ultra fresh citrus based fragrance that stays ultra juicy and super fresh for 12 hours. That'd be cool, you know? Cause usually a really juicy opening will last for like 15 to 30 minutes and then it turns into something like orange blossom or something like that. But I would dig that. 
All right, guys, thank you for sticking with me through these 11 questions. Hopefully you liked the video. I'm gonna go ahead and tag Jay Copeland. If you guys are unaware of him, I will leave a link in the description of his channel. Um, so check him out, he's a cool guy, very chill. He uh, lives up near Chicago, so, you know, go Cubs. But as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Nailed it.